bonus video today publishing two videos in one day the first one was published at 6 a.m it was all about your favorite running books so if you love reading and you love running you're definitely going to want to check that video out upper right hand corner after you watch this one all right guys i love running and i bet you love running as well and that's why you're on this channel I love running so much that I signed up in 2018 for a 50 mile race and a 100 mile race. Let's just say they didn't pan out. They didn't, it didn't work out. Like my body uh, did not respond as well as I was hoping to that distance. Meaning running 50 miles, running 100 miles is really difficult. And some body types are made for it and some are not. But it doesn't mean that I was not interested in giving those distances a shot. And I did. And yes, those videos are in the upper right hand corner as well. But man, we're talking challenges, a ton of challenges in the actual race, but also in the training. So in 2019, as you guys know, I'm interested in coming back down to the marathon distance, the half marathon distance, and I'll probably run 150K in 2019. Therefore, as I was preparing for the 50 mile distance and the 100 mile distance, I was running a lot. Big runs, long runs with backpacks and food and water on my back and like running for like five hours, six hours. And I believe my longest training run in 2018 thus far was about 41 miles. I would not advise that. Okay, now listen, I'm 33. I'm not 23 or 15 or 73. Like I, I was I was just testing the waters, trying to figure out again, what are my limits? Because I was running so much, the body was, you know, in pain. I was sore. I was tired. I was looking for ways to recover. And so that's when I discovered this sandal, this recovery sandal put out by Ufus, O-O-F-O-S. And remember what I've always said about gear review on this channel. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm, I'm going to be very transparent with you guys. I may have misled you about this sandal. All right, let's start with this guy. I'm not gonna get into the tech specs and like what it's made out of and all of that, like the heel drop. I just wanna talk to you about my experience with this sandal. It's like walking on clouds. It is amazing. It feels so comfortable. However, I'm actually now in the camp that it's almost too, too much cushion. It, it's, it, it's, so squi it's so squishy. I think that this sandal does not provide enough support, especially if you have a history of injuries. Am I saying that this sandal contributed to my plantar fasciitis? I'm not ruling it out. Will I ever know? No, I will not. I will not know if this sandal contributed to my plantar flaring up. However, when I wear this sandal now, it does, it feels good, like it, it, it absorbs the impact. Supposedly it absorbs about 37% of the impact of every step when you walk. That's, that's a lot, 37%. But now I'm second guessing wearing this sandal for like three, three months straight when I was running, you know, 30 mile long runs, 40 mile long runs to get ready for a 50 and 100 mile race. Guys, I, and this is the question of the day. Have you ever worn the Ufu sandal or the Hoka recovery slide sandal? And if so, what was your experience in either one? All right, let's go to the Hoka slide. When I first got this sandal at the Speedgo 50K, they were handing it out. I was like, Psh, heck no, I'm not going to like this. This, this guy is, this guy is way more comfortable. The Ufu is way more comfortable than this guy. And I actually almost, my buddy, Steve out in Snowbird, he, Utah, he, I almost gave him these sandals because I was like, I just, I'm not going to wear them. Do you want them? Um, but Steve, I'm glad I didn't give them to you. Uh, sorry, buddy. Basically this guy has now become my daily walker. I wear this Hoka recovery slide sandal every single day. And so the Hoka recovery slide sandal, it does have cushion. It does absorb the impact, but it also has support through the arch. Is it as comfortable as the Ufus? No, it is not. No, it is not. You should know that ahead of time. But over time, your foot gets used to it being a little more stiff, but it's that support that frankly allows me to walk around every day with this plantar fasciitis pain. I'm not even like, without this sandal, Sadly, it's a little difficult for me to even walk around my house because my PF is kind of screaming at me sometimes. 
but in this guy, I'm able to do so. In addition, a little bonus, right now, this Hoka Recovery Slide Sandal is, I believe, $35, so it's been reduced about $15 online, so it's about $35 for a pair of these right now, whereas the Ufus, I believe they hover around the $45 to $50 mark, and yes, the key word for this video is recovery. And as you know, as a runner, recovery is almost just as important as the actual training. And so I am in love with this sandal, the Hoka Aura Recovery Slide Sandal. Again, it's $35. And I'm not saying that this guy is not a good sandal. I'm just saying that if you have a history of injuries, just be a little careful. Or if you overpronate and your arch is not as strong like me, be a little careful in the sandal. It's awesome, it feels good, but the support is just not quite as strong as this sandal right here. And thank you for answering the question of the day. If you have experience in either of these recovery sandals, and maybe you don't have experience, like listen, when I was in high school, when I was in college, these types of recovery sandals did not exist. And I should also mention, these are very popular in, amongst the ultra running community. It may be, they, I don't even know, like do marathon runners and half marathon runners wear these things around? I'm not even sure, like I'm, I'm just starting to get into the marathon distance. So anyway, that concludes the second bonus video of the day. Thank you for watching, thanks for commenting, and I am curious to hear your thoughts on which sandal you prefer, and maybe there's another one out there that I don't, I don't even know about. Let me know down in the comments. You guys rock. Thanks for being here, thanks for watching again. We'll see you tomorrow.